Another really useful thing that Google Drive has is a search bar. I can search in question builder. Let's say I'm looking for a particular resource that I know I have in there. So I can search for that and it'll narrow down my search and come up with anything that has those two words in it. If I wanna narrow my focus, I can click on this Chevron here. I can search by the file type. So anything from a presentation to a form, all kinds of stuff will show up there. I can also select by owner. So it could be owned by me or not owned by me, or I can specify a person. Um, I can also put in more specific things down here as well. And then I just hit search and we see what we find. Let's see if there's any slide decks with this title. And you can see that it's now found any slide deck that has the word question builder inside of it. That's how you search your Google Drive. When you're in your email and you receive an email that has a Google attachment, so something like this, I can open up the email and I can scroll down and you'll notice that if you, I hover over top of this attachment, it allows me to save to Drive. So right now, this document would be found in my shared with me. But if I click on this little icon, I can add it to my Google Drive, and then I can move it to be in a specific folder so that I can access it later. So maybe I know that I want to save this document because it's something that pertains to a staff meeting or something like that. I can go ahead and I can move it into the right folder and have it there for later. So then when I hover over top, you'll notice that the Google Drive icon is now colored and I know that that file is now in my Google Drive. Another way to do this would be to actually click on the document and open it. Once the document is open, you should be able to um, click on the little file folder up here and move it into your Google Drive as well. So you can see here, there's a little file folder and it's now been moved already because I've already put it into that folder. But if it wasn't, I'd be able to then add it to my Google Drive. There'd be a little icon there that would say add to drive and I would be able to add it to my drive that way. I can also go to file, add shortcut to drive and move it into my Google Drive that way. So you've got lots of options. If I'm in my Google Drive, you'll notice that if I click on my shared with me, this is where anything that comes into my email would show up as, as a file. So for example, we just got this email today that shows all the different principal and vice principal transfers. So because that was sent to me via email, it was technically shared with me. And so it shows up in my shared with me file. If I wanna add any of these files to my actual Google Drive, again, I can right click on the document. I can choose to add a shortcut to Drive and that will add that file to my Google Drive. Once I'm in my Google Drive, anything that I've added, any shortcuts, I should be able to find easily by going through my folders and sorting through my materials there. If you've ever had a colleague share something with you and then you couldn't find the email again, a great place to look for it would be to go to your shared with me. You can either scroll through, it'll show you by time, but you can also search your Google Drive for that item. So I could search for that particular handout so I might search for COVID-19 because I'm looking for my requests document and I can see that I've got that document there or this planning document that was shared with me by Bill. So if you can't find that email in your inbox, just go to shared with me and then you can search by the title or the type. If you click on the little chevron here, you'll notice that you can search by owner. So if I know that it was somebody, something um, that was shared to me by Bill Corcoran, for example, I can click on that and I can search for anything that Bill has sent to me that has the word COVID in it and I can find those items. If I then want to add these items, what am I gonna do? That's right, I'm going to right click on the document, add shortcut to drive, and then I can move that file into the folder that I want it to be in, in my Google Drive. So it's all super organized. Neat As a tidy. teacher, the other thing that you're gonna find in your shared with me folder in your Google Drive are your class folders. If I search for my class code in Hapara, then I should find those training folders for those students. So you'll see here that it's pulled up the folder for student one, but I can also just open up the folder for that entire class. And if I open up that link, it brings me to every single student's folder in that class. I also can take that and I can add a shortcut to my Google Drive as well.